Welcome back to another DAX for Power BI tutorial. If you're liking these quick Power BI videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the combine values function. And this is a function that was just added to Power BI. It's actually been around in Excel for a while, but it just made its way to Power BI in the April 2018 update. And it's a pretty useful function for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's really it, it adds a lot of readability um, over some of the existing functions that have been used. Um, and it also allows you to basically join two tables based on information from a couple of columns in a more elegant way. So if you're curious, let me go ahead and show you what I mean here. So I have two tables in this model. One is an orders table and it follows the kind of transactional structure of order header and order line. So basically, if you're not familiar with that, uh, if you take a look at an uh, if you take a look at a sample invoice, just like this one, this is basically your order header. Order header is just the invoice itself. And then there are separate line items on that order header. So uh, looking back in Power BI, you have the order header, which just would be one, and the order line would be one, two, and three for each individual line item. So we have five individual orders here, each with a different number of line items. And imagine you have another table called shipments and it follows the same structure. The shipment header uh, lines up with the order header and the shipment lines lines up with the order lines. But Power BI can't actually join two tables based on two columns. You can only join on one column. So the workaround for this is to create a calculated column that uses information from both of these to create a unique identifier. So let me go ahead and show you how we do that. So coming back to orders, we'd create a new column. And the way most people do it before the combined values function was just to concatenate using um, text concatenation or the concatenate function. So we would do that using, uh, we'll call it header and line equals, we would literally just write order header um, and uh, and separate it by a dash and order line. And that, was, that would give us something that looks like this, uh, a unique identifier, 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 2-1, something like that. Or you could use the existing concatenate function. Let me go ahead and start over here. Uh, we'll delete that and create a new column. header uh, and line uh, concatenate work the same way. You could concatenate the order header and uh, the text for the dash together. And then you would have to concatenate um, that with the last value, which would be the order line. And you get the exact same column, 1-1, uh, 1-2, 1-3, 2-1, uh, but that actually was really slow when you use direct query because imagine you're doing this every time you change a slicer selection using direct query. You want to be able to join these tables on the fly using the indexes set up on those tables. And if you use a structure like the concatenate or the and, you were actually getting rid of those indexes and you weren't able to use those columns for table joins, but the combine, combined uh, values function allows you to basically join on a column like this, but allow you to use those indexes that are set up on those tables. So let me go ahead and show you how to do the combined values. So let's delete this column and we'll set it up one more time, but in, this time we'll use combined values. So header, and line equals combine values. And you see it says combines the given set of operands using a specified delimiter. So our delimiter is going to be a dash. And we throw an order header and order line. So you can see that's a lot more readable. Um, it's very simple to look at and it gives us the same idea, but to really nail it in, this doesn't actually 
just concatenate the strings. Well, it does, but it, when you're using direct query, it's not gonna join based on those text concatenations. It's gonna join based on the columns themselves. And that's a really big thing. It'll really speed up your direct query models. Um, so if we go ahead and copy this and go to shipments, and we add the exact same column, um, but we are gonna to wanna to do shipment header. and shipment line, we'll end up with that column. And now we can just join on those two tables. So let's go ahead and come to our relationships and manage relationships. And now we can create a relationship on that custom column we just made. Awesome, and that's a way that we can join two tables based on information from two columns. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, a, another quick example of how we're going to use combined values is in these dynamic titles. So I have this orders from, and it takes the first date from this date slicer. So as we scroll this over, we see that this changes, and this is this DAX is basically just titles equals orders from and first date. So using what we had just um, learned, we're going to use combined values. And basically we can just give a delimiter of um, colon space and our two values will be orders from and um, first date of order date. Great, so we end up with the exact same um, title here and it works the exact same way but it makes a little more sense if you look at it uh, just from a DAX standpoint. You have your delimiter, you have your first value, and your second value, and you're just at, uh, combining them together based on that delimiter. So this is a really useful function um, that's been around a little bit in Excel, so you may be familiar with it, but if you have to use it in Power BI, go ahead and give it a try uh, because it is really, really important if you want to use it for direct query. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next DAX for Power BI video. Thank you